Hello everybody and welcome. Sorry, it's been a while since, I was up since I've uploaded, but it's fine. I'm uploading here right now. So what uh, today's upload is a bit different. So um, for who, those that do not know, I am uh, like one of the admins of a local scene here in Belgium to organize Pokemon events as well. Uh, there was then a Pokemon event and I did pretty well in my opinion and I want to talk about some of the matches that I had as well. Um, I was playing Monotype Ice and I like to show off the team as well. So first off we got Nine Tails Alula. We've just got a likely set which is really nice. Uh, it's been well it helps a lot honestly. It helps with the setup especially for Frostmoth, for Cloyster and for Weavile. Uh, no, Cure Black as well. Weavile is just there to do a lot of damage. So Roroville is very nice. Moonblast just to hit those pesky dark types or uh, like everything that resists the freeze dry. Yeah, freeze dry is also good because of course water is a good typing. So I definitely wanted to hit that. Uh, I chose that over Blizzard. And then the last move might be a bit weird is Ice Shard. So um, look at my team. I had a lot of issues with counter setup. If they set up on me, so I was able to chip down most most of the time Pokemon, but not uh, reliably kill. So I put Ice Shard on it just to ch uh, be certain to get some chip and kill something right before the lower nine tails dies, which has been very nice because I've been able to knock out an extra like this with Ice Shard, which was very helpful. So I definitely wanted to have that. Yeah. So. It's been very helpful. Then, of course, the second mom, we had to have him. We needed Darmant and Galar, Galar for him. I really wanted to try uh, make ice work. Ice typing is really great right now because uh, it has some really powerhouses. A little Nine Tails helping. Of course, Darmant and helping as well. So, we just made a jolly uh, choice car of uh, Darmant and pretty easy actually. With uh, girl tactics, we ran Iso Crash, U Turn, Fire Punch, and Earthquake. I chose Fire Punch over Flare Blitz because I needed uh, my Dermanitan when testing this. I need my Dermanitan to live, uh, especially. Because, yeah, Fire Punch hits uh, hard enough for most of the things that I had issues with. Uh, the main issue still with this team was Steel. Luckily, I didn't have to encounter anything, especially for Steel. Uh, my main issue was Mill Metal. So, it was pretty fine. It did what it had to do. I took Crash, Flinching. U-turn, getting my momentum up, Fire Punch and Earthquake as well to hit those Pokemon that I, uh, those annoying Pokemon that I can't hit. So just overall, it's a standard set. We all know what the Manitan does. Does a lot of damage. I made him jolly because uh, I knew there were gonna be other people uh, running Ice as well. So I definitely wanted to outspeed people. Uh, also having Mono Ice. That's the main reason. The third Pokemon is uh, my Weavile. Weavile is, as some of you may know, one, maybe my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I just ran Focus Sash Pressure uh, quite easily, actually. I should have maybe ran Pickpocket, but I, I didn't actually, uh, I didn't actually realize for using it. But yeah, uh, we just got Sword Stance, Knock Off, Ice Crash, Low Kick, uh, Weavile, because the main thing in well, I feel is that uh, a lot of Pokemon want to set up style trucks and stuff, which is fine, which gives this team, of course, a little bit of trouble. But then Lee Weaval is just really great with like the speed that he has and uh, 383, which is great because it outspeeds Adamant, uh, Dragapult, and stuff. So uh, that was also very nice because that happened as well. So I was very happy with that. Uh, knock off Ice Crash and Low Kick just. My three best stat moves to hit. No ice, ice shard this time on this one. Because I really wanted to make sure I could kill a few things with sword stance. Uh, weirdly enough, well, because I wasn't running uh, adamant, I didn't. I miss, messed out on a KO on a Hippowdon. Uh, but it was fine because he flinched. But like in a different situation, it would have been very annoying for me. And of course, the next Pokemon we had was Curum Black. Curum Black was just amazing honestly that mount is just it's not okay honestly I, i'd say it needed a ban <laughs> so we were just running a dragon dance set with dragon claw fusion mode and icicle spear icicle spear just to have like uh, potentials to break potential sashes as well 
but yeah, Dragon Claw, Fusion Bolt. I just Dragon Ass because like it's really great. I read it. Uh, I did. I did read an Adamant instead of uh, uh, Jolly, which might not have been the plea, but it did work out because uh, most of my opponents, uh, their Rain Dance sweepers or their Sandstorm sweepers, were all Adamant as well, so I could still outspeed them. For example, Excadrill or even. Uh, what is it called? Size me tool. Yeah, so that worked out great for me. Uh, it was really a powerhouse. It was, it was forced to be reckoned with, and just because of the dragon typing, resisting so many things and helping me survive so many things as well. Just massive HP, massive defense, everything. Maybe uh, instead of ice spear, I would have maybe put her power instead, just to be able to deal with. Uh, steel type a bit better, but like like I said, my main plan for steel was just trying to dodge them in bracket, <laughs> which is not great of a plan, but like it worked out, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, a frost mob. I wanted to run frost mob just because I like it, and um, also because of the ability ice scales, just to be able, well, just want uh, half of special moves is really great. I gave it heavy duty boots because it definitely needed that. And like it might have been a nice setup sweeper as well. I just put uh, a bit of HP into it. Just uh, it was for something specifically, but I don't recall what. But uh, yeah, its speed is not that uh, great at all. And yeah, I had to quiver dance most of the time two times just to outspeed some things. But like still, it was very nice. Sp uh, like the spadef and was very nice. It did a lot of damage to things. So I'm very happy with that. Mothra was amazing. I just wish it got freeze dry. Honestly, freeze dry on this mod would have been absolutely amazing for it. But sadly, it doesn't get it. No big deal, but yeah, I wanted to see that. And the last Pokemon that we had, uh, this one I had a lot of changes to. Uh, so we just got our Cloyster. We've got a King's Rock Cloyster with Skill Link. Why King's Rock? Because, yeah. I'm a degenerate, I guess. No, because like, it gives you a lot of chance to flinch. Uh, it gives you 50% chance to flinch with Rock Blast or Icicle Spear, which is very nice. It worked out for me quite, uh, a few times as well versus uh, a Corsola, like a Galarian Corsola, so that, I really needed that. And me, but like in the end, maybe I should have run White Herb, maybe, because I was very good at trying to avoid the Stealth Rocks getting put up on my field. Um, but like, cause like, if I was White Herb, I could have maybe lived uh, the first impressions in the finals better. But like, that is a bit of a spoiler. But uh, I still liked the King's Rock. It was very fun. I had fun with that, honestly. So yeah, do that was the team. I really liked it. Uh, Monotype Ice is actually really strong. I was super surprised about that. But yeah, I wanted to go over some battles that I did then. All right, all right. The first battle that I did right was versus Water, which was fine. Um, it had a blast, so I was quite scared of the Draco Fish, honestly. Because, uh, like, my main switch in would be Cloyster, or not even a switch in, honestly. It, I would have to sack something. This team is hyper offense, so I definitely had to sack something. But it's fine. Totally worked out in the end. I was super. Well, I was, I was glad to see um, that Nightius could put in some work. If the Draco Fish was jolly instead of adamant, my uh, Nine Tails has a chance has uh, a chance to live a fish's rent, so I was very afraid of him leading with the Draco fish and being adamant. I would have been super scared. Um, I led with my Nine Tails just to set up my screens uh, or just to freeze dry something because I really, really, really needed it. So yeah, and I know that W uh, that I'm playing here uh, is quite a good player as well, so he knows his stuff. So yeah. So he led with Blastoise, uh, this was a kind of an issue because he wanted to lead with the Draco Fish, but he chose his mons to lead, so he just came along in the, uh, yeah, with, in the right, in the order that they are in the team. So that was quite sad for me, for him. Uh, I put up the heal, I'm not too afraid of Shell Smash Blastoise, uh, pretty, like, it might be lead uh, Sash Blastoise, but I wanted to put up my Aurora Veil first. Uh, in case he shell smashed and then proceeded to hydro pump and just kill me right off. So yeah, we see a shell smash happening here, which is fine, I feel. 
Uh, Blast, if Blastus was running Aura Sphere, that is super scary, but I've still got my Sash Weavile, I've got my, uh, I've got Aurora Veil up, up so I can chip with Frost Mod as well, like, there were options, so it was all dependent on the set of this Blastoise, uh, that I had to figure out. My nine tails, I'm gonna sack off here and just freeze right. I knew freeze right could have uh, done some me massive damage to three of his Pokemon, but like, and the weather would have been nice as well. But like, I couldn't switch anything in. I was too scared, honestly. So I just wanted to chip the Blastoise. So him hydro pumping, seeing that it does about that much is fine. Cause um, so he with the next one he kills us. But uh, from that, I can gather is. If he runs Hydro Pump, I was gonna bet it all and just go to cure him. Cause if he did Aura Sphere to my Curum, uh, like Curum is to me my best switch in right now. Cause I can kill him, uh, and he's he has to switch to Escaldu. I'm making him trying to make him switch to Escaldu because my Frost Moth pretty much can do some things against that Escaldu as well. But yeah, I'm deciding here. So I think Curum is my best play. So just right off, kill off the blaster. It's 41 HP. I can kill that. No problem at all. The issue with like the spectating mode, right, is like seeing the opponent's HP. Like we can both look at the big screen and see each other's HP, which is not that great actually. So maybe a way to hide that for, from the players as well. So we see that blaster goes for ice beam. So he has water ice beam. So probably no aura sphere, which is great for me because that's neutral, and I've got still got my. Rural Veil up so I can just Dragon Claw this thing right out of here. So yeah. Yeah, and also my in-name didn't fit. I know, I know, it's bad. <laughs> it happens. So yeah, I was considering here that he was... Oh, the screen goes blank. Yeah, you, we have to move with the switch a bit every time. So it wouldn't go to black. I uh, should really fix that switch then to make it so... <laughs> oh god, I hate my face. I had a really bad hair day that then. I really did. Fuck man. But yeah, he's gonna go to his Pelipper, which is to me is like his worst switching to do. Like I get it, get up the rain, maybe Size Two can do some stuff, uh like Drake of Fish is killing. Which is all fine, but like I can I'm now to Dragon S two times. Probably. because uh, Aurora Veil is up, so even if he skulls it's fine because I have Lumberry. I'm running Lumberry for a reason. Because <laughs> I know I'm gonna be burned, paralyzed, or anything. Uh, so that's why I ran it. Oh, you know what would have been great? Maybe if I ran Sub. Sub would have been great. Yeah. Yeah, as you see, he does almost nothing to me. So I'm happily able to go for a second Dragon Dance. If I do, I can outspeed the Size Me Tools in the rain for certain as well. So yeah, there's no reason for me not to do it. So yeah, now I have plus two, and this is probably game. Uh, this is game. So he scalds here, and we can see that my Lumberry is going to activate because he burnt me, which is fine. That's why we take precautions. That's why we have this. This is why we have a system, man. Yeah, all is fine. Uh, I'm just like this. The rest of the battle is actually quite straightforward. I'm just killing everything. I'm not going to shoot every... every part of it but like yeah everything just died uh in my opinion maybe in the end maybe instead of going to spell up i think his best play was going kelio sacred sword in me putting me at 40 something uh and then being able to fish his rent because like i wasn't able to set up on kelio kelio setting up a kelio was like like that was a risk that I wouldn't take because like i'm too afraid of crits even if the pelipper crit me that'd be fine yeah, that was my first, uh, that was round 3 battle that I did on stream. So the next battle I did was in top 4. Alright, so top 4, right? It was kind of bad, because like, I hadn't lost any game until round 5. Round 5, I lost one game, and it was to this guy. He was playing uh, ground type, Erwin was uh, playing very well. He, I knew what his sets were, like most of them. And like, Excadrill and Sand is super scary. So what that like was like uh, in the previous match I didn't do it uh, I wasn't able to do it so I just still had a ease up my sleep which was the Dragon Dance Curum which is trying to get two Dragon Dances outspeed the Excadrill and kill everything so yeah 
Kirimu is broken. That was my main plan. It was that or getting the heal up and just surviving everything. And yeah, but I lead off with my uh, Gorilla tactics here, my bopping the Darvanitan, just to get Icicle Crash uh, good chip because I wanted to, in case he let with the powder and just KO it with a stab, Icicle Crash, which would be would have been fine. But now, right now, uh, this Seismitude has a lot of HP, and that frightens me. He just protects the first turn, uh, which is fine. But like, I just want he has no switch in for this as well, so like I just want to chip this thing because uh in the case of a likely event that my cloister uh has to do with this or something else i want to have chip on this size of is super bulky and stuff so i then i should crash and i flinch which is very unfortunate for him uh yeah i can't see anything else really that is just really unfortunate for him if he had gone nerf power he would have done about 90 to me but me expecting his protect going to switch to my uh, ninth is Alula just so he can get some leftovers recovery which is fine for him but I want to be able to uh, put up my heal so uh, his HP stays low which is great for me I'm happy with that uh, the only issue right now is he might switch in his powder just to get make sure that I don't get my roar reveal so he did that the previous the previous match as well. It was a very nice play by him, just in making sure that I don't get my Aurora Veil up. Which is completely fine. Uh, so expecting that, I'm just going for, straight up for the freeze dry, just going for some good damage. Uh, I know that my like I have some HP investment in my nine tails Lulan, but like God, this hippo is fat. <laughs> like that is a special defense hippo if I've ever seen one. It was a very good spread for him, uh, well, well thought of, I feel. And yeah, I'm just going for a freeze rise this whole time. I have nothing to lose. I can get a high roll, maybe a crit, or even a freeze. Uh, he has to recover, which is fine. I'm just, and I'm stalling out sand turns, which I want as well. So I'm just going for it. I'm just going for another freeze rise, as you see. Going for as so much damage as I can. And he lives on 8 HP, a bit, like, that's fine. That's good for him. Uh, sad for me, but yeah, it happens. You know, you know, how, you know how it go. But yeah, he le he restores some HP, which is fine. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna do the same play. Maybe now I'll get the high roll. Like I am, like I have no good switch it for this. Like an earthquake still hurts everything on my team. Uh, I did a little bit less there, so I do. A little less but then he reveals that he has iron head i did not expect iron head on the hip powder so i knew he had slack off stealth rocks and um whirlwind even but freaking iron head i did not expect that which is a very funny uh very well played by him uh i'm just going to my um darmanitan just to u-turn uh yeah the screen goes black again i'm fixing it there we go um yeah so I'm just gonna go for a U-turn because he wants to uh, keep his Hippowdon healthy so that he is able to put up sand for his extra drill the whole time, which is fine by me. I just want a U-turn, get some damage, and depending on what he switches in, uh, switch in to the right thing. So it goes to the Sesame Toe, which is fine by me. I go for a U-turn, hope I don't kill. I don't kill, which is really great for me. So I'm going to my Curum Black. Because why? Curum Black is broken. That's why. There's no other like. There's no other way to go around this. I'm sorry. It's just that good. Um. That's why he's bad. <laughs> oh, like he should be bad in mono. Like I've, I get Darmanitan, which is fine, cause like, like I can get Darmanitan, cause like he's uh really needed for ice typing, which is fine. But like Curum Black is nutty man. Right, but yeah, uh, in case he goes for to damage me or even to like, because I know this is a bulky uh, seismic tool. Seeing, at, looking at this set with protect and everything and leftovers, so I'm just going for Dragon Ass, expecting his like Earth Power or Skull not to do too much to me. Goes for the Earth Power, and as you see, that did absolutely nothing. God, Kyurem is broken. So yeah, I've got one Dragon Dance up. I can get up a second one now. And by getting up a second one, I can just sweep through his team. Well, try to. Try to. 
because uh, like of course you've got Memo Swami who might have been sashed because I didn't see that in the previous match I believe uh, so yeah that's kind of scary so I Dragon Ass again I'm just gonna go for as much damage as possible uh, killing as much as I can especially trying to get rid of the Excadrill because like that was my main shtick trying to kill the Excadrill he goes for the Toxic and here I show off my Lumber oh my god I hate my smug face <laughs> I hate <laughs> fucking hell. No, don't do it. No, don't do that. Why? Why am I doing that? Right? Yeah. Uh, no idea why I did that. But yeah. But now my cure is at plus two speed, plus two attack. So I'm gonna kill some things. So first off, first on the list is the seismic tool, which is definitely understandable, of course. Um, in, maybe if he went for another Urparo, Urparo might have been better for him. I feel it's like I didn't hadn't revealed my item yet. I couldn't be Z move because <laughs> Z moves they aren't a thing yet uh, in this game. M oh, maybe berry or something, something crazy like that. Yeah. All right, but yeah, I'll go for Dragon Claw. Kill, kill him off. Room you, room you. Where art thou, room you? <laughs> Dead. That's where you are. Ah. Uh. But yeah, next, uh, I believe he switches in his Mama Swine. I don't know, he's a power done. Uh, just for Sandstream, just to be able to set that up anyway. Which is fine by me, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just, just Dragon Claw. I'm not, I'm hesitant to sh uh, show off Icicle Spear. Because I hadn't shown it to him before. So I'm like, I'm just going to Dragon Claw. Because that's all I did in the previous match as well. No, previous match he didn't even see anything on my cure. He just after I killed it with Iron Head, uh, with Life or Excadrill. Yeah, but so, so I'm not showing off my moves yet. I I can't Fusion Bolt, but I've got Icicle Spear, which is really helpful here because it can help me uh, get a kill on the Excadrill. I can't use it here because Thick Fat Mammal Swine is a thing. Ice resisting ice, like literally the only type thing. Uh, he goes for the Asha just to go get some much chip as possible. So the Sand is also for chip. So he can probably quick attack me with his, um, what's it called, his bunny. Which is completely fine by me. As you see, and now he can just quick attack me and probably kill me. Uh, but I got rid of three of his Pokemon, which helps me exponentially. He's got a Scarf Flygon. And still got Sandstorm for the Excadrill as well, which is <laughs> scary. But it goes for the quick attack. And yeah. Kills me, which is fine. But Kieran Black is still freaking broken, guys. Even if Dewey died, you might have seen that he died, but he did he did enough damage. There's no coming back for this. Uh, I just go to Boppin, because I'm Scarf. Uh, quick Attack doesn't kill me, funky enough. So I can just go I uh, Icicle Crash and just uh, stall out, like, beat out the Flygon, or maybe kill off the Excadrill, which is also fine by me. Because uh, he, he switches out, he goes to the Flygon. Uh, I remember him yelling, Miss! <laughs> uh, on this Icicle Crash. Our uh, skin goes dark again. I use the Icicle Crash, but unfortunately for him, I do hit, manage to hit. So I kill him off. And now Sand isn't that prominent anymore. There's a lot of turns wasted. Sand isn't uh, is here for like one more turn. So yeah. Oh, oh screen now. There. Okay, you okay? Okay, then he goes to, on to Eva, his Excadrill. Excadrill is, of course, faster than me. And I just have to stall out one turn uh, of sand, which is fine by me. I'm just gonna sack up my Frost Mod, because my Frost Mod is, like, the most useless member that I have. So I do that, just stall out the sand. But then he says, all right, that was a good play, but so is this. And I'm like, excuse me, what? <laughs> what do you do? He goes for Rapid Spin. As you see, that shit does so much... Life Orb, Adam, and Excadrill, man. <laughs> and, like, now he has plus one speed as well. So I'm like, oh, damn, that's, that is a good play. I've got a Sash uh, Weavile, who can't do, who can't put him some work. But the issue still being that Rock Slide can flinch me, <laughs> which is scary. You go, I go for the Ice Beam, as you see, do a lot of damage, which is fine. Uh, Mothra being able to live. Thank God, Mothra, I love you. Uh, being able to live to chip the Eva and because he's life up he will kill himself in two hits. He goes for the iron hat. 
which is fine. And I'm just gonna keep my Weavile and my closer life, because those are the main things that can deal uh, my... Like, I'm just going closer, I believe. I don't recall. It's been a while. It's been a D. It's been a full D. How can you not remember? There we go, we go to Cloyster. I'm going Cloyster because I'm able to be able I'm able to shell smash uh, if I want. But I'm not gonna risk it right now, because in case he I should have honestly I should have um, shell smashed. I don't know why I did. He goes for rock slide, he kills himself, I could have shell smashed. But I go for liquidation. Probably the stress or something, but like something in my, my head was like, wait, yeah, that doesn't work. That was to play. I should have shell smashed. If I shell smashed, I would have definitely had game right here, right there. Um, although, it could have also not killed me. But, uh, apparently, his Diggers B is adamant nature. So, he might be... Uh, he's thinking he's slower than my Cloyster, who happens also to be also adamant. So, I'm not slower than that thing. He goes for the quick attack. And it doesn't kill me. So, I'm just like, oh, liquidation. Let's kill. And we kill off the Diggers B and we make a comeback. So even he won the previous round, I won this one, one top four, so I'm going to finals. That was the best of one because we were asking that. So yeah, next up, finals. Alright, so finals is against, uh, <laughs> finals is up against Duncan. Duncan is also an amazing player, we all know that. Yes, Duncan, you're amazing, blah, blah, blah. Um, he plays bug type, which is one of his favorite type, which is really great for him. Uh, I'm going to my cloister. Because I wanna, I wanna really mess up with his shuckle. Because I know that I'm King Shock, I can try to flinch him. I need to flinch because I don't want, because I'm not, I'm not able to kill him after a shell smash. I believe that. I, um, so I'll just go for rock blast, just trying to flinch him, uh, so that he can put up sticky webs or stealth rocks. That is my main plan. That was like, and luck has it, I flinched. So that's really great for me. So 50% chance, uh, really good for me. So now I'm able to shell smash because uh, he can only choose stealth rocks or the um, or the sticky webs. Preferably, I I would rather have him have stealth rocks than I would have let him have um, sticky webs. So he goes for the stealth rock because like my team is all fast and stuff, so that's why I rather have uh, stealth rock. Breaks my sash on my weavile, but that is still fine. I'm still. Um, I'm still confident for this. I go for the Rock Blast, killing off this Shuckle. I have now a plus two attack uh, Cloyster. And like, it's hard to see, right? So like, look at this. So he can first impression me with his, um, what's it, Gold Isopod, which is really great for him. Doesn't kill me, but then he can also first impression me with his Duran, which will kill me. And like, at that moment, I wish I had uh, had had white turn. Maybe I could have lifted. It's like I'm minus one defense, and as you see, if I had minus one defense, I would have only done about thirty. Because uh, Cloyster's defense is actually kind of nice. So, and for this Golisipod, I actually need the uh, five rock blast hits. I was quite surprised about that as well. But yeah, we managed to get a kill there. But now uh, the main issue at hand comes out, and which is the Duran. Duran, <laughs> he was joking about it as well mid-match. is saying like, yeah, uh, I'm not running Hustle, I'm running Swarm just to be able to hit my moves. It was really funny to me. Oh yeah, here I forgot a Charger. Uh, so I had to quickly get a Charger as well in finals. I am very, yeah, I know, right? Uh, but yeah, so Duran go just going for the first impression. I'm just going for uh, Rock Blast. But yeah, first impression, taking the kill. Of course, uh, and that Duran loses a bit of HP. I'm going then because I know. Uh, so I I've studied a bit of monotype, and I know I know that the Sentry Scorch is uh, Flash Fire because like that is a really good ability for bug types. So I'm just going Weavile just to be able to get some, a knockoff. Uh, I could have gone to the well to Darmanitan, but I didn't want to risk it. Honestly, didn't want to risk it. Uh, I needed to get some damage first. I, like I wanted him to get in a mindset where he could be able to switch in the uh, send the scorch. I just go for for the easy knockoff. Uh, just go for the chip. I re I get off his heavy duty boots uh, versus Rebombi. I'm able to go to my uh, frost mod, which is fine. I can 
My sash is not intact, but it's fine because like Weavile is still great Pokemon right here. He goes for a Moonblast, which is fine. As you see, I take that quite easily, but it gets a special attack drop, which sucks, but yeah, it happens. So I'm just gonna about to quiver dance, he's just and he's just gonna boom blast again. Uh, I am so sad that I was greedy and went for a second one. I should have just attacked. I'm not faster than anything on his team, but I should have just attacked. Why? Because right now I was able because he's gonna switch in his Durant. If I was able to make this call, his Durant would have been dead, and this would have been way easier for me this game. So as you see, he switches out his Rebombi, goes to Durant, and a really good play by him, just being able to first impression. I'm here begging for a miss for first impression, which is kind of beat of me, uh, but, we are, but yeah. I I had to. The Durant is such a hard Pokemon to deal with for me as well. So he goes for first impression, dodge, nope, he just right off kill me. kills me, which is fine, kills me, uh, I'm back. Uh, being able to go to my Weavile or to my Darmanitan. Uh, either is fine, honestly. Because, um, like, Weavile can still knock off. But I'm going to Weavile because his Sash is already broken. Get some damage. Durant doesn't have any more priority moves, which is also great for me. Imagine Durant getting Bullet Punch, man. Oh, or something like that. Priority Bullet Punch. Uh, dude. But yeah, I'm just going for Isocrest just to get as much chip as possible. He stays in. I was quite surprised about that because I was expect fully expecting a Rebombi. I crit him, but he kills me with Iron Head, which is super fair. Kills me off, but I've got necessary chip on the Durant, which is great for me. So Durant at 40 HP. I could have knocked off. Uh, that would have been better, but then the Rebombi would have been able to get him back again. And Rebombi being at uh, enough health to be able to kill me is not great. So I'm going to bop and I'm just uh, straight up. I I expected the set the scorch to come in, so I'm just going for a U-turn to be able to go to my Nine Tails and get a Roar of up. Maybe being able with Karen Black to Dragon Dance. That's the main plan. That's my main plan. So he does go to the Sandy Scorch, which is fine. I'm going for the U-turn. As you see, doesn't do a lot, of course, because Fire type. Yeah. Um, does yeah so I go to my uh, nine tails and this is quite scary because like I have to put up my veil I am faster than him but he might be able to coil and coil is also the death of me so uh, I could if I ran on core that would have been great sadly I didn't uh, but it happens it happens so yeah the fed up by heal so I'm just, just putting up my roar veil yeah. He goes for the coil as well, so this this makes me panic a little bit because like coil sent scorch is kind of scary. Coil sent scorch can completely freaking sweep me, which is also super scary. So yeah, not really much plays that I have here. Certainly not with uh, a fairy move and a nice move as my two main choices. Um, fairy, but then Duncan decides to just attack me right out. Which is might have been the right play for him, because like if I got a freeze eye freeze or something like that, uh, wait no fire lash would just kill me. Uh, maybe you could have just done it again. Maybe you didn't want to risk what moves I had, which is also very fair. Goes for the fire lash, and as we see, I am gone. <laughs> there I go. So I look at Cure and Black and my Dormanathan in the back. So I have to kill go Cure and Black. I have. I have to. There's no other play. No, wait, I go to my uh, Dramanitan. Right. I go to Dramanitan just to be able to kill this thing off because uh, Isaac Crash that will do more uh, this time. Even if he's plus one, I believe uh, I could have killed him. I go for the Isaac Crash. It's stab. I was like, it's stab. I knew it's fine. But he lived. But the issue is, I flinched him as well. So that was very sucky for him like oh my lord that sucked so much for him i have no other way of seeing this uh yeah but yeah i'll go just go for another ice of crash and just try and kill him so he can go back to his uh durant and uh no he can go to his gavantula who is also sash 
if I'm not wrong. Yeah, he's Sash. Sash Gelvantula. Which uh, doesn't risk the first impression miss, which is a very good play by him. Definitely agree there as well. Because like he needs the Durant to kill the Kyurem as well, or the Rebombi. Um, but like Veil being up is kind of scary. So yeah, I just go for the Icicle Crash. As we see, I hit again. Uh, I am going to put him on his Sash. And guess what? I am super lucky today. He flashes again. Oh no, he misses. He misses it standard. That was worse. I didn't even flinch him. God. That was fucking bad. God, if I would have won the... If, nah. Like... Nah, man. <laughs> I just straight up sucks. So yeah, he can go Durant. I... It was very hard for me, right? Because, like, I want him to waste his first impression and stay stuck. And then, like, being able to switch to Curum Black. I wanted to switch to Curum Black. Because my initial thought process was, right, Curum Black cannot survive an Iron Head uh, hustle. Which is true. But he could have missed as well. So it's, like, very hard to see what a, uh, what a better play would have been. Um, yeah, I just go to my Curum Black. We see uh, Stadrox digging in. Hurting me, pain. Goes for the first impression. As you see, does some damage. But like now he's able to switch into his Rebombi, which is very annoying to me. He's like, well, he's able to switch to his Rebombi, get back his first impression, but now he can just Iron Head and kill me off, which is also great for him. So yeah, I only got my uh, the Manitan. His best play is to switch or switch to his Rebombi and just first impression. And not miss my Darmanathan, which is makes it this game actually way more tighter than it should be because of that flinch, those two flinches that I've got, which is very unfortunate for him. But yeah, I'm just going, hoping, yeah, make a bad play. <laughs> stay in, doesn't stay in, which is completely reasonable. Uh, I just go for the fire punch, uh, not risking a miss, kill off the Bombi, and then we'll see if he misses his. Uh, first impression. I'm already ready to shake his hand. Like, oh well, not shake his hand. We booped elbows the whole day because, like, you know, virus and shit. But yeah, all he has to do is not miss. And he hits! And he's so happy! Oh, I'm so happy for him. So he got first, uh, Duncan got first, and I got second. Uh, I think we plenty proved that Ice is now pretty strong. We. In top four, there were two people with, uh, with ice typing, so that was definitely great. So I'm very happy to see that was a very good experience to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will, I would want to do more of these videos, but the issue being, I'm not always on stream and stuff, of course. Like, 